welcome to another video of walk on the wild side and i'm here in blackpool i'm actually doing a talk over of a lost intro here yeah i caught up with the intro and i deleted it so i'm doing a bit of a talk over here we're down here on the comedy carpet and the stage is set for the big switch on friday night the switch on of the blackpool illumination sophie ellis betster will be turning on the famous blackpool lights here on the promenade what I'm going to do is we're going to take a little look through the town centre to start off with in this video and then we'll head back here to the promenade to check out what's going on. Yes, yeah, so I'm here in Blackpool. We're looking down Clifton Street there. I'm just coming up to Abingdon Street. Uh, pretty early in the morning here in Blackpool town centre. I thought we'd take a little look around the town centre and head towards the promenade, the comedy carpet, and I'll show you what's going on. They're preparing. They've got a big stage. They've got it all going on there. So I thought we'd take a, a little walk through the town centre just to make it a bit more interesting. It's around about quarter past seven in the morning. Here in Blackpool, we're looking towards the Winter Gardens. Got the street sweepers here, got a bit of noise going on, you know, deliveries, that sort of thing. So it's uh, starting to wake up Blackpool. But to look how empty it is here, wow. Here's a little look down Burley Street at, uh, before the crowds. There you go, look at that. Some nice cafes down there, if you're interested. I won't go down there, we'll, we'll go this way, shall we? We'll have a little look at uh, St John's Square. I'm going to head towards the promenade, of course, and we'll check out the comedy carpet because it's all going on down there today they've got a massive stage up uh, so they're going to be setting up today they, they set the stage up last night but they'll be putting some more stuff in today i'm sure for the big switch on the blackpool illuminations it's absolutely massive look over here we've got uh, there's a view of the tower there i'll tell you what the light at the moment is really nice the sun it's probably been up about an hour or so and the light is just so nice at the moment we're used to seeing light in the evening, you know, the sunsets, but not that many people get to see the, the sunrise because they're too busy working or going to work or in bed. So we'll take a look down here, shall we? Church Street. And I'll head straight down here to the promenade. Seagulls are still noisy. I've just noticed a mural down this... Uh, this alley here, back Church Street. Look at that there, Bad Santa. Never noticed that before. There's artwork all the way around Blackpool, you know. Down these alleyways, yeah. Murals hidden away to try to um, make the place look pretty. <laughs> to make a back alley look pretty. And uh, just at the front here, we've got the hive. And uh, this is uh, a place where they display artwork in there, look, the hive. So if you ever go in there, you'll see artwork on the wall. Bloody hell, those seagulls. So this is how Blackpool looks at 20 past seven. That's the time it is now in the morning. on the day of the switch up. I tell you what, I'm seeing a few broken panes of glass around. I noticed one at the bread basket back there on Abingdon Street. The bread basket, it's one of the, well, I think it's the best bakery in town, check it out. The bread basket on Abingdon Street. So we're going down Church Street now. We're actually just going past that nail bar that burned down, let me show you. So this is where the nail bar was here in this space here. And there's a building there, look. That building has 1879 on it. Look at that there. Always look up in Blackpool. You never know what you're going to see. That's the Grand Theatre. Matcham's masterpiece. The Grand Theatre. It's one of Blackpool's finest buildings. We're just coming down to Corporation Street. This is Corporation Street. Emptying the bins there. Looking back towards Talbot Square where 
near where I started. This used to be um, British Home Stores, this in here. British Home Stores, who remembers British Home Stores? Down, come into the, the junction with Bank A Street and Market Street here and on the corner there's a jeweller's called Leonard Jews and that's another store that's um, no longer yeah still got the name on it but it's in fact I'm just looking at the top of that building now look at that up there look it says there 1874 how about that eh? here's a look at Market Street And here's a look the other way, look at this, whoa, Blackpool Tower. Okay, now there's no set time for the switch on itself. It's usually between around half past eight and nine o'clock, but don't quote me on that. It can be uh, later, so uh, it can be delayed, so there's no set time for the switch on, but it'll definitely happen. I tell you what, between the seagulls, the bin wagons, the buses, I think they're having a competition for who can make the most noise. I'm almost at the promenade now. I'll tell you what, it's really exciting. So let's go and check out what's going on, shall we? Well, this is Papa's Fish and Chips on the corner here of Church Street and the promenade. And I'll tell you what, it is pretty busy here. What a noise coming from the traffic. There's the, uh, the wedding chapel over there and the beach house. And as we look this way, look at this. Whoa, are you getting excited? We've got a big stage. It's free this year, by the way. It's, you don't have to pay for this. So let's let's head over there, shall we? Ooh, so exciting, isn't it? I've just noticed that they're, uh, they're washing with the windows here. Look at the uh, wedding shop. That big window there, by the way, is shaped like that so that the couples can have the. Uh, the picture taken with Blackpool Tower in the background and if I just walk up here a little bit you'll see what I mean just look at this folks wait for this wait wait for it wait for it oh look at that folks that's what it's all about see that there wow see see what I mean anyway let's head past the beach house I tell you what, the window cleaners do really well in Blackpool. I'm sure they're all millionaires. They do very, very well. But we're now coming onto the tower headland now. Who remembers this before the sea wall? It was all, um, the sea wall was very flat, I think. I, I, but when they put the new sea wall in and they built the top of the car, it was all built out, you know, they, they extended the, the the promenade. Look at this thing here. What's that called? It lights up and you can walk through it. So just over here we've got uh, some big wagons. We've got one there, E.T. E.T. phone home. Now then, this is going to be the backstage area here. We've got uh, Sophie Ellis Bexter's going to be turning the lights on. She's going to be flicking this switch. Just over here, we've got a Blackpool in big letters here. That'll be all lit up. You'll be able to have your picture taken with that there. Right underneath the tower. There you go. That's what it's all about. Blackpool Illuminations. There will be a fireworks off the tower when, when the switch on is. You know, as soon as the the switch is flicked and I don't know what time it'll be um, it could be it probably should be nine o'clock but I'm not too sure but anyway as I turn around look look at that that is impressive folks that's the stage look at that wow and like I say like in previous events this has been well in previous years it's been inside They've had it inside, but this time it's outside. So that makes a change, doesn't it? And you don't have to pay as well, as far as I know. I'll put details in the uh, description, but uh, I think 
might be a bit too late for some people to by the time they see this video it'll probably be over won't it but I'm just giving you a bit of a look at how they're preparing for it we've got a lot of space here there is a lot of space I have to say on the comedy carpet and when it's empty like it is at the moment it looks even bigger there's the display unit for the light pool now they have this windbreak behind there can you see the windbreak now I was sort of expecting them to extend the windbreak more that way but I'm not too sure because all these lights here are designed to carry that windbreak all the way around but funny enough the wind is actually from the east tonight you know yeah you know we've had some cool weather this week here in Blackpool but it's actually warmed up again it actually feels pretty warm at the moment we're into September now of course I'll tell you what there's a big American truck behind me we'll check that out in a minute but the wind the, the weather for tonight is actually looking pretty good and the winds are light and they're from the east which makes a bit of a change because normally the winds in Blackpool are southwesterly and uh, yeah so that that makes a change doesn't it the weather's going to be pretty good for the switch on but by the time you're watching this video most likely the switch on will have already happened and uh, I'll definitely be doing a video on it I don't know how at the moment do I do a normal video or do I do a live stream do I attempt a live stream like I did last year which uh, it went okay after a few problems oh look at this now we've got an American truck here look check this out it's a Volvo it's, so it's not American but it's American style isn't it you don't get that many trucks like this over here do you I know Scania did one didn't they Scania I think Scania do <laughs> yo and look at this here we've got ice cream we've got I love Blackpool there you go get your pictures taken with the I love Blackpool and if this uh, this truck's here you might even want your picture taken with this as well I wonder if it lights up it's got on it big TV look at this LCD ah there you go there's money in this game isn't there there's money in LCD big LCD screens look at that hey eh? it enables you to buy a big truck like this one here look I think I might go into that game you know yeah look at this promenade folks it's now half past seven and I'll just give you oh oh I can hear sirens oh my god I've done it again folks sorry about that there's always sirens in my videos but this is how it looks on the beach look at this isn't it nice and calm wow oh honestly folks that's that is so so peaceful today the wind is behind me like I say coming out of the east sorry that the uh, sirens have to break the mood it's an ambulance it's all right it's not it's not the police That's a relief. Well, the Albert and the line isn't open yet, but it will be later, and I'm sure that's going to be absolutely stuffed later on. They're doing a bit of work on the tower building up there, look. I wonder what they're up to there, eh? Hey, and here they are sorting out the bins here. Working our Blackpool Council. There you go, they never stop here in Blackpool. And here's one last look round here at the tower headland and the comedy carpet. It's going to be rocking here later for the big switch on. And those uh, LCD screens will be getting set up today. It's a sleeper this by the way as well so there could be someone sleeping in there what do you think? Anyway that was a little look at Blackpool on the morning of the big switch on yeah. The switch on of the Blackpool Illuminations. I'll put some information for you in the description. Um, they're going to be going on till the new year, of course. Uh, I think it's the first or the second of 2024. So there's plenty of time to get up here and see them. 
and if you can't you can just watch my videos anyway i hope you like this video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one